Hello, welcome back to Scream With Me. I had to go pour water on me hair. It was frizzing up like a 1979 pimp in a disco. And I'm like, okay, let me try to do something about that. The life of a headbanger, you know, skate punk headbanger. But it's better than that beatnik beard, shaved head shit fad that's going on now. It's like ridiculous, retarded. Everybody looks like they just got out of prison and or belong to a white supremacist gang. I don't know what the fuck to think about it. It's like, what? Why do y'all do that? Have a little individuality, a little uniqueness, yeah? You know? I mean, come on. Gosh, Jesus. Anyway, what am I doing? Oh. N tonight, or now, or this video, because I'm doing like a marathon, it looks like. But um, I want to talk about a remake, controversial remake. It's Black Christmas, unrated, the 2006 Black Christmas remake, and ooh, Metascore. Metascore gives it a 22. Don't you love critics? Don't you believe critics? Critics rock, yeah. <coughs> And I love it. Of course, if the critics hate it, I love it. <laughs> so, uh, Billy's home. But uh, this stars Michelle Trachenberg, which uh, it's Dawn from Buffy. You know, she will always be Dawn from Buffy. Oh, I don't want to be typecast. Be glad you got a job, yeah. Mary Elizabeth Wanstead and Lacey Shabert, directed by Glenn Morgan. And Roger Moore, who wrote the original, helped write the screenplay for this. So people who like to give it shit, I'm like, well, you know, you, you want to fall on your knees and, you know, run your mouth to the point where you could, you know, suck start a Harley Davidson uh, about oh, the original can't be beat, well, you know, then you're going to have to blame the director for the original because he helped write the script for this. So keep that in mind. But anyway, <laughs> I love this. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It stepped up the gore. Um, I really loved the way they... Um, okay, I'll be honest. I don't really care for the sister thing. Um, but it was still okay. It was still good. It was still fine. I don't have any problem with that. Um, but I loved the prequel parts of it. Um, them diving a little bit deeper uh, into, you know, what really happened to Billy to cause him to become what he was. Uh, it broke my heart, you know. I mean, him seeing his dad murdered, I mean, you know, his dad loved him. I'm like, why didn't they just, I mean, I didn't really understand his dad that much. Because I'm like, uh, that mother, what could she possibly have that you would put up with that? And especially about what she was doing to the child. Um, I'd have shot her a long time ago. I mean, Billy would have never had that problem. Uh, he would have never become what he became if he had me as his daddy. Because I'd have took that bitch out way before she could do any of the mental damage that she'd done to him. And, um, you know, him seeing his father get killed like that and his father was really nice and it's a shame it was really a shame I felt really sorry for him like you can with a lot of these uh, <coughs> uh, it's like that um, I kind of agree with that there's a youtuber called Bailey Sarian and uh, she tells true crime stories and a lot of times she gets or thinks that she's getting in trouble because she tries to admit that she feels sorry for some of the people who's done horrible things and that that doesn't mean that you're letting them off the hook or you don't think they should be executed or whatever it just means that it's sad you can be sad about what happened to Billy you know you can be sad about what happened to Billy without it meaning anything about you condoning him becoming a star raving psycho <laughs> you know and um, I really did uh, the story was great. I think the acting was fine. Uh, Michelle was great in this movie. Um, I didn't really have any problem with uh, no eye rolls for me, you know, and 
by high rolls, I mean bad acting, bad cinematography, bad special effects, um, anything like that. I didn't, it didn't get any of the no-nos from me. I didn't have any problem with any of that. Um, I got quite a few jump scares out of it, so that was good. Um, when they got to the hospital at the end and um, you had those little things, the alternate ending, that's the problem. <laughs> with me and movies is that sometimes I'll remember some scenes or uh, alternate endings from the uh, special features and people may not have paid attention to them and get them confused with the actual movie but I don't know I've heard a lot of people's opinions on this and um, I liked it just fine I didn't have really any problem with it uh, for those who haven't seen it you have a um, a bunch of girls in their sorority house who are being picked off one by one by uh, basically a psychopathic hider in the house who has escaped a mental institution and is come back to kill them all and he's hiding in the walls and under the floors and all of that while he picks them off in the middle of a blackout snowstorm uh, so you have all the typical ingredients that is required for such a uh, endeavor and I think it all works great I like I said I didn't have any problem with any of it on Christmas Eve an escape maniac returns to his childhood home which is now a sorority house and begins to murder the sorority sisters one by one there you go um, I do love the original um, and I do love the original better than anything that's come uh, you will not see a video from me on uh, the, that newest one, the 2018 or whatever it was, because that was pure unadulterated shit, just dog shit, just bat shit that flew over the, you know, just a bat flew over your head and dropped shit on your head. That's that movie. I mean, it's just horrible. It's stupid. I don't like it. I don't even know what they were trying to do in that movie, to, to tell you the truth. It's just like... Uh, man man kill kill I don't know it was weird I don't like it you won't see a video from me about that movie but this one I loved this movie um, like I said the, the scenes with Billy when he was a kid just broke my heart and I hate when horror movies do that because then you feel sorry for the killer and you then have to have your moral compass broken uh, so that you can like despise them and want them dead and it is a dichotomy you know it's a dichotomy of not knowing uh, well you made me feel for them and now you have to break my moral compass because now I have to hate them uh, so that I can really thoroughly enjoy their death you know I mean I don't want to like oh it's so sad they had to kill him he was just a crazy nut but he was made that way no 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 I want I want to be thrilled that they are dead and I was thrilled that they killed killed him um, but uh, I like it when they jerk you around <laughs> you know I mean I want them to take me on an emotional ride so I hate them for doing it but I love them for doing it so it's kind of weird um, you know but that's the way it goes so yeah I don't know if you have any opinion on this movie feel free uh, to tell me about it I give it a big thumbs up I liked it I had no real issue with it I can watch both I don't you know I don't have to make this not exist because I just want the 1974 that's what I never understand about people in their remakes and shit it's like um, you know it's just I prefer remakes that are basically just updates um, updated time period, updated cinematography, updated, you know, but I, I want it to kind of remain the same, except add a little stuff is okay, but I just prefer my remakes to be updates, you know, and um, I, I don't, you know, like, long for their destruction, or they shouldn't exist, I mean, if you feel that way about Black Christmas, then just go buy the 1974 DVD. Go, I mean, you know, go buy the DVD of the original movie and shut the fuck up and watch it and leave everybody else alone. I mean, I don't understand why this 
you think this has to not exist because you love the first movie. Well, guess what? I've got both of them. I love both of them, and I'm fine with it. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. And uh, I got to have haters, so I can't just sit and be loved by all. So I got my stuff to say, but... I love Black Christmas. Did you love Black Christmas? Um, yeah. Was there anything else like bother me about it? It had the appropriate amount of people I wanted dead. You know, in the core victim group, there's always some victims you want dead. You know, it's just like that asshole boyfriend. I wanted him dead. It's like, you know, kill that one. So, I always like that in a movie. Give me a victim group in which there's a couple I care about and a couple I want dead, and so I can really enjoy it, you know? That's why I am. But, yeah. Black Christmas, unrated. 2006 remake of the original 1974, which is fantastic. Uh, I like this one perfectly fine. It's a good little mid-2000s movie. Has everything you need in a good little horror slasher. And um, I really liked the emotional day ri uh, ride they took me on about Billy's past. That was uh, frightful. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. Thanks for joining me if you did. Uh, and uh, I'll see you.